In this tutorial in ProPresenter 6, we're going to explore the use of Bibles. To get to our Bibles subprogram, we simply click on the black and white Bibles icon in the toolbar at the top. It gives me a window that I have undocked, so I'm going to have to resize it so you can see it. And here we have a, a, a window which shows me my Bible, and I can control the size of the slide. The last verse I looked at was Genesis 12, 1. The version is New American Standard. I can click down here and pick various versions. Here's a Bible in basic English in Genesis 12, 1. Now, what if I want to add a Bible uh, of my own? Well, there's several ways we can add Bibles. If we click on the gear in the upper right corner, one option says Bibles. It's the second down. I click on that. And if I click on free, it will give me a list of public domain Bibles that I can install in various languages. If I click on purchased, it will give me I Bibles I can purchase from ProPresenter. Now, according to the copyright agreements between the ProPresenter folks and the Bible uh, people who own the current translations of the Bibles, the current fee is $15 per Bible per machine. It doesn't matter what kind of license you have with ProPresenter, but if you buy a Bible, you have to buy a separate copy for each machine. Desktop, laptop, doesn't seem to matter. So uh, you can do that. On this machine, I have two of the free Bibles, and that's what we're looking at here. Bible in basic English, or I can switch to the 19, I believe, 11 or so American Standard. If I click on the I icon here, it will give, give me the information on it. I'll click that off. But there's a couple ways in which you can put text on one or more screens. I can just type in a reference. Let's do Romans 2, 1 through 3. And I hit enter. And now I have a slide for each of those. But notice how it splits it. Yeah, it doesn't split it necessarily with a verse ending on a particular slide. Now let's look at how we can adjust that. Um, if I click on my tools, it gives me options. I can show verse numbers, which I have clicked on. I can break on the new verse. Let me turn that on. And now it broke a different verse on each screen. Well, that's helpful. But sometimes I I want more than one verse on the screen, so I'll click that off. Um, I can display the translation, and here it is. Now it gave me the translation. Clicking it back on, I can uh, put a pass the passage on each slide, and there we go. This just tells me the passage on every slide I have, or I can put the passage on the last slide. But notice again, it's not necessarily breaking on the verses this way. Or I can just say no reference whatsoever. Another way to control the break up of multiple verses on slides is the template. And this is probably the most effective way to do that. So let's assume that I, I don't want a new verse on every slide. I want it to be so that I have more verses. If I click on the template, I'll have several options. I'm going to go to blue style here, and I'll go to scripture quote. Okay, now blue style, scripture quote, change the font, change the background. It didn't solve my problem that I want more text on a slide. So I'll try another one. Let's go to blue style. Um, let me try... Another one I have is full page text. Ah, that one worked better. Even though it wasn't designed for scripture, it does a nice job on scripture. But now if I want more than three verses, let's go to one through six and hit enter. And once again, I run to a bit of a difficulty. I've got lots of text per slide, but it still didn't break it on the verse. I haven't found a workaround yet for this, but uh, you have to be creative when using ProPresenter to figure out how you want to break it. I know the current trend is one verse per slide, and it does that very well. Um, 
So what I suggest you might consider doing, that I'll be doing, is creating a new template of my own, which gives me the maximum number of uh, words per slide. Again, you don't want too many or they become so small your audience can't read them. But experiment with the different ways in which you can use the the different kinds of scripture. Here's a lower third. Now the lower third breaks it up that way, but if I go back here and say break on new verse, um, that breaks it up even more. So experiment with this and find out what fits you or your pastor or your teaching staff in terms of the breakup of the slides. Um, you can also just click on the down arrow and go to a, uh, a chapter and a verse and click on it and it will show that on the screen. Let me return to uh, a different template. Let's just use default here for simplicity's sake. Okay, and that gave me an entire chapter. <laughs> so, um, or you can type in the verse, whatever, select a book, uh, anything you like, or you can do a search as well. Uh, for most of us, I think the best way is to, to slide over the text and just type it Romans 6, 2, and 3. Oops. And you get exactly what you want. Now, the second thing you want to do with a Bible is now that you have the verse on the screen, that doesn't put it in your presentation. How do you do that? Well, in order to do that, we use the gear on the lower left part. And if I click on that, it gives me three options. They're not on the recording screen, but they are save as a document copy to the current document or save to the selected playlist. I'm going to click on saved as a document. Okay, and now I'll, I, I will um, close my Bible window and I just save that as a document. If I uh, go up here into my text, uh, it, I should be able to find Romans 6, 2 to 3 in my library. Let me search on Romans. There we go. Romans 6, 2, 3. I just saved it to my library, and this is the way it looks. I can go in and edit it. I can change the background. I can do any kind of slide editing I want. So let's go back to the Bible again. And uh, I'll minimize the window a little bit so you can see it. Let's go to uh, John 1, 1 to 2. Okay, didn't go there. One, 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 one to two. There we go. Uh, let's choose to save this a different way. I will do uh, save to selected playlist. I just did that. I will close my Bible program. You can minimize it as well. Here's my playlist and I go drag down to my playlist, it's at the bottom. There's my John 1, 1 to 2. I can rename it. I can add more verses. I'm pretty flexible. Um, my concern is, is the, the limitations on the formatting of the slides, but uh, it does get text directly into ProPresenter without typing it in manually. And uh, that's a great start. So this is a little bit about using Bibles in ProPresenter 6. We hope you found this tutorial about using Bibles in ProPresenter 6 to be of use to you. If you have, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to our channel here at The Sharper Turtle. Thank you so much.